Okay, class, this lesson is called the anatomy of a wave, and this lesson focuses entirely on vocabulary. So the new unit that we're starting today, waves, has a lot of vocabulary in it, and it's a good idea to get started looking at the vocabulary right off the bat. So we're going to learn this vocabulary by filling out a graphic organizer. And the graphic organizer is uh, attached to the, to the hyperdoc. So there's Gonna, we're going to start with this video lesson, which is going to walk you through how to fill out the graphic organizer and how to fill the, find the answers to the graphic organizer. So uh, the HyperDoc, as usual, has warm-up questions in it, which you're going to use to fill out your warm-up, to, to answer your warm-up question. And then there's instructions for completing the, the anatomy of a wave graphic organizer. So there's a link in this document to a, a page in a web page in the Physics Classroom website which you're going to find all of the answers to the anatomy of a wave graphic organizer. So I'm going to walk you through really quickly the anatomy of a wave graphic organizer. Um, so this, as you can see, has a, a, a graphic of a wave and a lot of boxes that you're going to fill out to uh, find the definitions of, of all of the parts of a wave. So um, we have these stars here with, that are labeled A and C and B and D. So what are the tops, the highest point on a wave? That's A and C, and the lowest part on a wave? That's B and D. What is this dotted line? That is this box right here. What do we call the dotted line on a wave? Um, what is this distance between A and C? You're gonna fill that out right here. What is this distance between the highest point on a wave and the dotted line? That's this part right here. You're gonna fill that out in this spot. There's different types of waves. So there's waves that travel through the medium horizontally. And then there's uh, waves that travel through the medium up and down. So what are those types of waves called? You're going to fill those out in this box here and this box here. And then how do you define frequency and what units are used? How do you define period and what units are used? How do you define wave speed and what units do you use? And then how do you find, and then what's the relationship between frequency and period? And what are the equations that you use? And then you follow that link to this website on physicsclassroom.com to the anatomy of a wave page. And this website, uh, this web page has all the information that you're going to need to fill out that graphic organizer. And that is the lesson for anatomy of a wave. And you're going to have a good, solid understanding of all of the definitions and all of the parts of a wave. And then from there, we'll be able to really dig into to waves and get a really solid understanding of how waves work.